bloody knife, bloody scissors, and a trail of blood at a South Florida home. It's all evidence in a gruesome face biting attack. The suspect cuffed and bloodied himself after cops took him down. Austin Harriff, the man accused of these morbid murders, had no trace of synthetic drugs in his system at first, as first thought. Instead, his attorney claims he is suffering from severe mental illness. Local 10 News reporter Andrew Perez live in Jupiter with the new evidence tonight. Andrew. Even with all this new evidence, detectives still trying to understand why this teen left this sports bar so angry while he was eating with his parents. He goes down the street, ends up at a, a stranger's home. A mountain of evidence was released today, but I need to warn you, some of the evidence you're about to see is graphic. Investigative video obtained by Local 10 News shows detectives retracing Austin Harris' steps. Photos show a bloody Harriff in cuffs. The night deputies say he attacked and murdered a Tequesta couple in their home, even biting one of their faces in a bizarre and apparently random attack. Listen to one of the interviews with an EMT on scene. They said, holy cow, that scene was insane. They said it looked like a movie set. It was just so gruesome. Harriff was taken to the hospital that night. Photos released showing someone's hair wrapped around his teeth. The hair was also collected. Most of the evidence too graphic for TV. What we can share is new information about what was in the teen's system at the time of the attack. The FBI lab finding no traces of synthetic drugs, flocka or bath salts. Cruz did find some alcohol or ethanol and small amounts of THC in his system. It's still unclear what prompted the teen to wander over to the home, but his family told detectives he was somewhat off lately. He comes up to my room and just opens my door and he's like, later he tells me, you know how I opened that door? I had the power. I can, I felt it in me. And Harris attorney says the teen has been dealing with severe mental illness. He has entered a plea of not guilty. We're live in Jupiter tonight. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News. Andrew, thank you.